You know, like in high school, when a teacher would hand out like a huge project and be like, yeah, it's due at the end of the year and everyone's like, okay, cool. So I'm gonna go have this sit in the back of my room for like, I don't know, six months. And then I'll start thinking about it the day before. This is like that, but I started doing the end of the year project the day I got it. Hello everybody, I hope you are having an amazing day. If you don't know who I am, my name is Brittany Baylin and I'm currently 21 weeks pregnant, which means I am halfway through my pregnancy. I'm starting to get a little bit uncomfortable and tired, but that's okay because I started prepping and buying stuff for baby very early on. So I thought I would do a halfway point of everything I bought for my baby. And I am a first time mom, so I'm not here to say that I know everything. I've broken this video down into sections. So the first one is going to be nursery. Then we have baby gear. This is stuff to carry a baby, push a baby. That sounds weird, but like a stroller. Next is baby clothes. This is, you know, tops, onesies, pants, but also, fun stuff like bows and shoes, the things that you probably don't need for a baby, but it's fun to buy. Also, call me crazy, but I wanted to do something really fun in the comments down below. I just did the baby names I love video, but will not be using, and said we have a baby name picked out, but we will not be saying it until after she's born. But I thought, let's do a little hint that we can look back on later. So something in this video is going to point to the baby's name. I'm not gonna say what or at what section of the video, but the baby's name will be <laughs> in this video. I realized it when I was putting it together and I'm like, oh shoot, that's totally a little Easter egg. So let me know in the comments down below if you, it's gonna be kind of abstract, but like not really actually. So let me know in the comments down below if you can guess it. And with that, let's hop into the nursery. Come on, let's go. We are in the nursery. It's a little bit echoey because I have to break it to you, there's not a ton of stuff in here. The nursery section might be my smallest section, but I did get a couple of things like this I didn't just have laying around. <laughs> Let me show you from a better angle. After a lot of consideration, this is the crib we ended up going with. It is a West Elm and Pottery Barn baby collaboration. There are a few reasons that I really love this crib in particular. At first off, the quality is just incredible. It has storage at the bottom and this room has no closet, so any storage that we can get, I need. These cribs in general have a conversion kit for a toddler bed, so this will become a crib and then a toddler bed. And here, is the dresser. It's from the same collection, the West Elm PB Teen. I love this for a lot of the same reasons, but I also love it because this is a good vibe that will last for many years. The chest of drawers I had as a kid had flowers all over it, and I had that for a good 14 years. This was definitely an investment, but I'm baking on mid-century modern, being cool for at least the next decade. I'm actually working on an entire nursery transformation vlog, so I won't go too much into detail. Obviously, we don't have much decor yet. We just put up this wallpaper yesterday from Loomwell, and I am obsessed. And then we got a rug for a super steal. It was like 50 bucks from Home Goods. Next up is wait for it. Hold your horses. You guessed it. It's baby gear, which includes strollers like the one we see here. And another really fun one. You may have seen this on my Instagram because I couldn't wait to take a photo when I bought it. My husband thought it was really weird that I took a photo in a baby carrier with no baby, but I don't know, I think it was a cute photo. Oh my God, I sized this back like probably four weeks ago and I'm way bigger than that now. Good to know. Can you guess that I like cheetah print? Can you guess what my husband likes? If you guessed camo, then you are correct. Both the baby carriers and the stroller are by the brand Kalugo, and they're actually sponsoring today's video, but I have fallen in love with their company, and the way that they found me is someone that works for their company, has been viewing my videos for a really long time, and I love when stuff happens like that, that's just like full circle fate, but they are a very consumer-driven and consumer-friendly brand, meaning that like, they listen to their customers. Like for one, their consumers were like, we need somewhere to put our phones when we hold our baby. So they, they did that. You can put your cards, your phone, if you don't have a pocket. And we also have a pocket right over here. And this carrier can be worn in the front. The baby can be worn in the back. The baby can face you. The baby can face out. And this carrier works for babies between seven pounds to 33 pounds. And it is also 
machine washable because babies are not always neat. Let's go over there and check out the stroller. Let's get into the nitty gritty of the stroller, the price. It does retail for $445 and that does seem high when you just say like $445, but if you look at strollers, they range from to $300 to $1,200. But what you are getting with Kalugo is the direct to consumer price. So it's gonna be 21% cheaper than it would if it was like sitting inside of a store. This is the reason why they decided to only be online and I think that's amazing. So you're getting a huge discount just because they aren't paying for the upkeep of having a brick and mortar store or being inside somewhere like a Nordstrom's. I obviously got mine in black, but it comes in blue, floral, rose sparkle, olive. And aside from that, I just really do believe in this company. I believe in the integrity and there are a ton of amazing features that my pregnancy brain is probably not gonna remember all perfectly, so I'll pop them on the screen now. If you are curious in trying out the stroller or the carriers for yourself, I do have a coupon code. It's not affiliate or commission based, but it's my name, Brittany Baylin, and it'll give you $20 off starting today. Woo! All right, this is going to be obviously the baby clothes and accessories section. I ended up just pulling out her newborn stuff because it was a lot more than I expected. Before you think I'm crazy and super over the top, I swear to you, a lot of this was gifts from friends and family. I did obviously buy some stuff. I, I did kind of freak out because she is going to be born in like June, July most likely, and it's hot in LA, like 120, and I was getting a lot of like onesies, so I wanted options that were like summer-ish. These baby shoes right here were actually the first item, they're just little baby vans, which are totally pointless, like <laughs> she can't even walk when she wears these, but this was just like my husband and I were excited and wanted kind of an item to celebrate that we were having a baby. But yeah, baby shoes are not something that you need. These little baby Adidas were a gift, but they're so cute. I mean, I'm definitely gonna put her in them, take photos. I don't know how long she's gonna wear them or if she's gonna like them. And then even things like this and this were a gift. Okay, this is amazing though. This is the Barefoot Dreams blanket. It is so soft and this is like has a little little toy on it and then this is a little rattler you can get both of these at Nordstrom's really cute gifts or just really cute for the baby my friend went crazy on bows so like we're totally set on bows any kind of a bow these are all from Nordstrom's they're really soft really good quality if you are having a girl and you want some bows and that's your jam do Nordstrom's I did pick up some packs from H&M which I am really happy with. They are just really small. I got, I think, zero to one month. Yeah, I got zero to one month, and in comparison to the other newborn items we have, like, they just look really small. My advice is everyone at H&M were like, oh, the clothes run so big. Maybe I'll end up changing my mind later, but I would say like maybe size up at H&M a little bit. Their prices are really good. Their colors are really cute. Their prints. I think the packs, like this was a full little pack and I think it was like under $12. You can't really beat that. With those onesies, I was like, she needs pants. So I got little baby joggers. This was a two pack from H&M. I think these are so cute again. And I do want to mention, I think I found something better than a zipper onesie. Buttons obviously are going to be a little bit difficult with a newborn, you have to change them so much. But there is magnetic onesies now. These are, I think like only at Nordstrom's. They really only have prints, they don't do anything neutral. So I like neutral stuff, but you have to go with like something crazy for this. But for newborns, I think this is gonna be like the easiest on off and it's like a really lightweight fabric. I also wanted to give a mention to Solly Baby. They have probably, some of my favorite like aesthetic prints fabric out of anybody. They are just so cute. So this is a top with a little matching bottom, like the feet even have like those little covers that they don't need socks. And same with the hands, you can just pop it over if you want. So I'm thinking this for her coming home outfit. They have little matching knotted hats. And if you like the whole knotted thing, they have like knotted gowns, which I think is gonna be the other like really good thing. And I know this looks crazy long. My husband was like, are we having the longest baby ever? <laughs> this is gonna make diaper changes super easy and all you do is just 
not the fabric, so it's not as crazy long. It is long, that's kind of the look of a knotted gown. And then they also have matching knotted hats. I don't know, I think Solly Baby is so cute. It is obviously a little bit more pricey than going to an H&M. I would say it's more on par with like a Nordstrom onesie. But you're getting that super like boho, cute, like earthy nature, Utah vibe. As you can see, I have my hands full currently with newborn clothes, so that's gonna be something that I don't personally ask for on my baby registry. If anything, I'm gonna ask for a Solly Baby gift card. That way later on when she grows out of clothes and I'm like, oh my God, I don't, <laughs> I don't know what to put her in, I have a gift card waiting and I can get her some cute basic sleepers and pajamas for when she's like a few more months, six months, I think it goes up to a year. It definitely is so much fun to buy baby clothes and pick out a style and like what the aesthetic's gonna be. I get it, but if you're trying to save money anywhere, let your friends and family just surprise you with this. And guys, that is everything. I hope that you enjoyed today's video. If you did, make sure to give it a like. It helped out my channel a bunch. And I can't wait to read your name guesses in the comments down below. And I hope to see you next week. Bye!